Hello and welcome to this Let's Play of Papers, Please. A very fun little game that I picked up completely by accident. This is our last Thursday, and I happened to be browsing Steam to see what was on sale. Because things tend to be on sale on Steam, and you tend to want them once you read up a bit about them. Now this wasn't on sale, but it had just come out. Saw the screenshots, read the description, trailers, and I thought, yeah, looks pretty cool. Turns out it was. It's quite addictive, in fact. So, the game basically has you playing the role of a minor bureaucrat in an Eastern European uh, dictatorship in the mid-80s. To be more specific, you are in charge of the Greston border checkpoint in Arstotska, and it's your job to make sure that unsavory types do not come in, and everyone has their papers in order. So, we can start story mode, and start a new game. Now, I must say that I've already completed the story, but I restarted things just to give us a fresh beginning. So, let's let the game explain itself a little. Congratulations! The October Labour Lottery is complete. Your name was Paul. Hooray. For immediate placements, report to the Ministry of Admission at Greston Border Checkpoint. An apartment will be provided for you and your family in East Greston. Expect a Class 8 dwelling. Now, you don't say that's the worst dwelling available, but it's also the cheapest. Now, I'll explain money later. Glory to Astotska. There we go, we're going to see a lot of that. So we've got paper here. The truth of our stop score, as it's called. No charge. And the board checkpoint's open at last. After six long years, can a Ministry of Admission keep us safe? Well, with us on watch, probably not. Uh, family to reunite. Politics and entertainment. Let's walk to work. Okay, here we are in our little booth on an official bulletin from the Ministry of Admission. But it's telling us that we've stamped um, the prospective entrance passport with the entry visa, which is over here. So you've got denied and approved. Pretty self-explanatory. And it says entry is restricted to our Stotskan citizens only. Deny all foreigners. Glory to our Stotska. Okay, that makes things very simple indeed. And here it just goes and explains how you meant to do this. Pay attention to the passport and nationality. Okay. So, forgive me if I play through a little fast on this first level, because it's just so simple, there's very little that can go wrong, that is essentially a free opportunity to earn some cash and just build up a good track record of success. Let me show you the regional map, which we'll be referring to a bit later on. So this shows a suspiciously Eastern European looking uh, region of the world. And here's our nation, here's our checkpoint, and here are the other nations that, from which citizens will try and enter. So we need this page open. I'm actually unsure we need this page open at all because um, it's only the nationality of the passports we have to pay attention to at this level. So you can see issuing cities, and if it doesn't match, then the passport is invalid. And these are districts uh, which will become important later. But anyway, let's open up the checkpoint. So he hands us the passport. It's all good. He's our Stotskin, so... He goes through. You're not our Stotskin, so you're denied. <laughs> Just have to keep the flow going. Another non our Stotskin. As you can see, I'm not happy that the queuing wasn't worth it, but that's not our problem. 
Another good old stock skin. In you come. Not just someone complaining about the checkpoint. Fine. Waste our time. Nice money, in effect. And it can actually stamp through the paper, as you can see there. Which is handy. Considering it's relatively easy to pick up the wrong thing. That's part of the challenge of the game, organising your desk properly. I'm actually quite serious there. Wait. Take it, there we go. We've got a nice flow coming in. Quite a chain of our Stotskins. And you break it. Out. Again. Deny. Playing with this like a child. Two more we can process. And the game lets you, when the time limit runs out, process the last one free of uh, the time limit, which is quite nice. So it's telling us to manage our expenses using the check boxes below. As you can see, our salary is $80. We've got savings of 30, rent is 20, food is 20, heat is 20. You can go about these. It makes your family um, more likely to die, so I generally don't like to do that. You should only do it if you're in a pinch, which we're not at the moment. And as you can probably tell from looking at these figures, we have to earn a salary of $50 a day in order to make ends meet. And eighty dollars is very good, and the reason it's so good is because the job is was so simple for that particular day. That's not going to last. So the target processing should be ten, and this thirty dollar tolerance means that we can screw up a bit in the future. But anyway, it's time to sleep. Okay, resting checkpoint of success. Enter restrictions to relax. Admit foreigners. Analyst upbeat. Increased trade and cooperation predicted. Politics, weather. Okay. To work. See what awaits. From say, foreigners with a valid passport are permitted to enter. The roof's inspection hardware is now installed. Okay. Check all passport information carefully for discrepancies. Deny any entry with inconsistent informa information. Okay. So. This goes on about entering inspect mode, which is here. Highlight discrepancies. And it shows you how to highlight two discrepant pieces of information, which will get an explanation from the person. But at this stage in the game, there's, there's really no good explanation anyone can give. So it's better if you spot discrepancy just to deny them outright. And as you can see, we've got the regional map out. We can look at different places to check the issuing cities and countries, which, you know, generally where where people should be have their passports issued. Uh, the thing is, though, that I've got this pretty much memorised at this point. Occasionally, I have to check because they can be sneaky and not just give you an incorrect city; they can give you a correct city from the wrong country. Um, but yeah, I advise, I advise you to just memorise this map because it saves a lot of time to have it in your head. And if you can't do that, just 
write it down on a piece of paper, unless you feel that's breaking the mood of the game. But anyway, enough dithering on. The basic rules section will be more relevant here. Let's welcome people in. So, Impor Enkyo is a real city. That's a valid date. Valid date of birth too. Looks like her. So that's approved. So for you, yeah. Ah, invalid expiry date. There's no good explanation for that. So denied without a question. Stotzkern, this guy doesn't look like himself. So we interrogate. And he says he doesn't know what to say. There's nothing more we can do at this stage. So in future, we'll just deny him outright. Hey, hurry up. I am meeting Buff soon. Yep, that's correct. Okay, yep, that's correct. Everything is in order. Hello, handsome. You look bored. Okay, that's correct. Um, thanks for that ticket. Let's put it over here. Uh, yeah, what do you get to visit? Sure. Okay, you. Great Rapid is a real city. That's accurate date. Yeah, that's good. Oh dear. Oops, um, hmm. yeah, border security, much. They was cut short by a terrorist attack. Progress to save the stuff each day. As you can see, we only processed six passports that day. No fault of our own, really, considering a terrorist attack. Buffer absorbed some of it, but, you know, another day as bad as that. We'll be going without food and heat. So, terrorist strike at Breston. Election agitators suspected. More guards, more scrutiny. Walk to work. As you can see, quite a few more guards, including out here. So, entry for non citizens is now regulated. All foreigners require a valid entry ticket. Verify information before stamping passport entry visa and returning all documents to entrance. Glory to our stats Okay. Right. So, we want the basic rules section open. Now we want to be able to highlight when they're not giving us the right document. Because just because someone doesn't give you a document doesn't mean they don't have it. What it can often mean is that there's something wrong with the document, but, you know, that, that's a 50-50 thing. So you have to check all the same to make sure you're not sending the wrong person the wrong way. But anyway, <laughs> time slowed down quite a bit, so we got a bit more time to look at things. Check the entry ticket first, because that's a deal breaker. It's valid for today. And this all matches up with this guy. So he's cool to come in. Okay. Car and entry ticket, my friend. Okay, that's valid. Is this valid? Yeah, it looks like him. It's in dates. Uh, oh, one of these again. Yeah. Okay, that's that's all in order. Just get out of our booth, please. I have a wife and family. 
Okay, check this first. Yeah, that's valid. Looks like him in date, correct city. Yep. Lucky I have a job still. Hmm. Thank you very much. Well, you're in order. We're not going to vindictively kick you out. Okay, that's valid for a later date, so unfortunately, you can't come in. Um, that does not match up. Huh. I guess it's him without a beard. Um, let me just double check the city name. Or Vit Lenore. Wait. There we go. <laughs> this guy. Okay, well, you need a passport, my friend. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, come back with a passport. I'm not sure how you'd think you wouldn't need a passport. Quite a flimsy excuse. Uh, passport update. Nope. Okay, entry ticket in dates, passports, yeah that looks to be in order. Okay, that doesn't look quite like you. Yeah, just have to deny him outright. Okay. Entry ticket is valid. Passport is valid. Masculine. Uh, sorry, we can't check that at this point. Okay, wrong validity. Sorry. about you? Valid entry tickets and Laundiz. <laughs> A clumsy forgery. It's Laundaz. <laughs> see. Valid, valid, valid. Okay, all foreigners require an entry ticket. It looks valid to me. Okay, one last one. Just snuck her in there. Hi, Han. 
Okay, that's out of date, I'm afraid to say. Okay, $90. We processed 18 people? God. Yeah, um, I guess the advantage of this is that uh, I can afford to be a kind of bit chattier, take things slower later on. Because right now, yeah, that's 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 a decent performance. Um, yeah, so I'm going to sleep on that. Black market activity explodes. Government claims lacks immigration controls. Checkpoint expansion postponed. Hmm. Maybe you're wondering what makes this game so fun. And it's when the complications start. Which is what is happening now. So... Our stocks and citizens must show their ID card, and foreigners must present a valid entry permit. Now this is going to slow things right down. And we have to correlate the audio transcript, which is here, with whatever it says on their documents. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff all at once suddenly to, um, to take on board. Right. So the entry permit looks like this roughly, and the ID card looks like this, and that's where the districts come in. Have some lists out there. So let's start with the basic rules out. Okay, purpose of trip, transit, couple of days. Yep, yeah, that squares. That date makes sense. Passport number adds up. Name's the same. Valid issuing city. Okay. You look good to go. Ah, Stotska. Ah, clumsy forgery. Paradisna, not Paradusna. Ah. Doesn't have an entry permit. A check if he does or not. Yeah. And he has an entry ticket, let me through. No. Maybe if you were more polite. See? You pay good money for it. <laughs> yeah, I bet some guys sold it to you thinking you're a mug. He was right. Immigrate. Forever. Yeah, that squares. Passport numbers the same. For these slightly wordier names, I just have to check they're the same. Okay, that adds up to me. Yeah. Who's next? Right, happy to see your son. Well, unfortunately, you have a bad uh, date on your permit. I'm feeling generous though, so why don't you explain yourself? <laughs> yeah, not with a face, with a clock, sorry. Eh, why not? I'm a sucker for a sob story. Yeah, you get these for performing good deeds. And you get a citation for them as well. And we don't get paid for that. So basically you've got a shiny badge for being good and it means you waste a bit of time and you don't get paid for any of it. So let's just make sure I didn't catch what this guy said. He's coming to visit. No, you're not. You're in transit. What, what, what's the story here? Which which is it? Oh, he's just passing through. Okay. Okay, that matches up. Mel, don't birth. Joel, Killer. Right. Yep, that seems in order. These citations can get in the way a bit. We'll get more later, definitely. 
Work. Work for six months. In date. Correct city. That adds up. Ah, two different names, and unfortunately, we have no way of checking. <laughs> Our stock skill welcomes you, yeah, right. Oh, it's you again. Oh, hello again. Now I have passports. Our stock is still best country for sure. Cobrastan. Bestberg. Men. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Come back with a better password. <laughs> sure. Okay. It's Greston and Date Mail. Uh, same name. Heights. Weights. Dates of birth match up. The Shiloh district. I think that's a real one. Okay, seems to me like you can come on in. Hooray. <laughs> Visiting friends. Half a year. Gregor Onk. Uh, that's not quite right, is it, Gregor? Um, you're coming for 14 days, but you're staying half a year. Okay, good, good. Correct yourself properly. You can come in. Check. I think Skull is a real place. Duration visiting relatives. Skull, yep. Yeah. Okay. Randstone, Kimonov. Okay. Passport numbers match up. Passport, is it okay? That's okay, I think. I said okay enough times yet. Yeah. <laughs> Trip. Sixty day visit to relatives. Yeah. Morik, you can come in. Um there we go. We should really put that down there for now. It just gets in the way otherwise. You need an entry permit. Was it here? Okay, does that add up with the passport? Okay, I'm just going to be generous and say, yeah. I have to keep this line moving. A chance to process one more person. <laughs> Okay, just in time. Visiting relatives. Two weeks. Okay, that's one date. Zhongli. Date of birth makes sense. We'll stand. Okay. Let's let you in. The rent has gone up. Has it? No. Oh, it's always twenty dollars. Maybe next time it goes up, but uh, yeah, we're still in the black quite firmly. So things are looking good for this family. That it could all change if more terrorist attacks take place, of course. Anyway, it's time to sleep.